Welcome to the Milwaukee Public Library Makerspace at Home Edition. I'm Makerspace Facilitator Mycia, and today we're featuring a project from our free Take and Make kits. For anyone who hasn't heard yet, you can head over to your local Milwaukee Public Library branch and pick up one of our free grab and go kits today. These kits are filled with fun projects for all ages, but younger makers may need help from an older friend. They are available while supplies last, but every few weeks we'll be making new projects available. Every kit comes with a set of instructions and we'll also be posting tutorial videos on our Instagram at MPL Curates and YouTube at Milwaukee Public Library. Let's start with our balloon engine car kit. Every kit will have a label that shows what is included and what you'll need to get started. Inside you will find the instruction booklets, a balloon, straws, bamboo skewers, push pin, rubber bands, and tiny elastics. Your kit will include some tape, but it is not pictured here. You may choose to use a hot glue gun instead of the alternative method, a pair of scissors, a permanent pen, a bottle, and four bottle caps. We will start by taking a pair of scissors and removing any labeling on the bottle. Take a permanent pen and draw a square towards the top and a circle on the bottom. And adults can use a X-Acto knife if you're comfortable or take a pair of scissors and pinch the plastic until you make an opening and cut out the shapes you drew. These don't have to be perfect shapes. Again, pinch the plastic and use that opening to help you cut out your shapes. Now with your four bottle caps and the push pin, you're going to want to create a pilot hole. You can do this safely by placing it on your table and then using the push pin to pierce directly in the center of the bottle caps. Repeat with all four bottle caps. Now with your bendy straw, you want to cut off the half that is shorter, right at the edge of the flexible part. With your remaining straw, cut that in half. Now you're going to attach these straws to the side of the bottle without the shapes. Use a piece of tape, stick on the straw, and then stick that to the bottle. Repeat with both straws. You can do this step with a hot glue gun as well. Be careful, ask an adult to help you. Put some glue on the straw and then stick the straw to the bottle. With your bamboo skewer, you're going to cut this into pieces that are one inch longer than the straws on your bottle. I've marked it here to see better, and I'm going to use a pair of scissors to lightly pinch around the bamboo skewer and create a score line. This score line is going to help make it really easy to snap off cleanly. Keep all the pieces of your bamboo skewer because you'll be using the sharp pointed end in just a moment. If you find that your straws are too long, you can trim them down a bit to the width of your bottle. With the bottle caps that you created a pilot hole in earlier, you're now going to take the sharp pointed end of the bamboo skewer and make the holes wider. You can pierce it from both sides and you can wiggle around the bamboo skewer to help make that hole wider. 
be super careful here and ask an adult for help. The bottle caps are the wheels and they need to fit into the bamboo skewers. If you don't have a hot glue gun, use the elastics provided to help create a buffer resist. A tiny elastic goes on either side of the wheel and that really helps secure the wheel in place. This part will take some patience. There you go, the wheel is now attached. If you have a hot glue gun, all you need to do is add a dab of hot glue to the end of the skewer. Now with one wheel prepared, you can slide that through your straw. Add an elastic for the other side of the wheel. Pop on the other wheel. and tidy up the very end. There you have it, a set of wheels for your balloon engine car. Now with the remainder of your straws, use a tiny elastic to gather them together, not too tightly because you don't want to crush the straws. Slide over the balloon and then secure that with another rubber band. I added the second rubber band here, mostly for decoration. Now with a piece of tape, cover the bottom of the balloon to make sure there's no chance for air to escape later on. You can do this step with a hot glue gun as well. Please ask an adult and be super careful. You can even wait for the glue to cool down a bit before you place the balloon over it. To the other side of the straws, take a rubber band and secure them together. Again, not too tightly. This is just to hold them together. and then insert that into the square and out through the circle. There you have it, your balloon engine car. To use it, blow through the straws, fill up the balloon, and then let it go. We hope you had a great time with your Take and Make kits from the Milwaukee Public Library Makerspace at Home Edition. If you have any feedback for your Take and Make kit experience, please follow the link and fill out the survey here. We would love to see what you come up with. Please share and tag us on Instagram at mplcreates or email us at mplcreates at milwaukee.gov. Thank you for watching and until next time, happy making.